Oh man, this this is it. This is the big fight. The Asgardian God of Thunder, Thor versus Martian Manhunter. Oh man. So, Thor is the son of Odin and the Asgardian God of Thunder. Due to his Asgardian physiology, his physicality is much, much, much better than regular humans. Due to his royal lineage, he's the third most powerful Asgardian, being surpassed only by Odin and Hela. He was strong enough to lift the Midgard Serpent, which was much bigger than the Earth as it wrapped around the Earth several times. He's durable enough to survive many blasts blast from Celestials. He has superhuman speed, agility, stamina, and a nice sailing factor. He's a master combatant due to his centuries of training, but he usually uses just a brawling technique. His only weapon is the magical and virtually indestructible hammer, Mjolnir. He usually just uses it as a blunt weapon, which he's skilled at doing, but it can do so much more than that. It allows him to fly at the speed of light. He can also project powerful electrical blasts, control and manipulate the weather and the elements, manipulate energy, manipulate matter, and he can even turn intangible and invisible. It also can project the God Blasts, which killed the Midgard Serpent and injured Galactus, which is really saying something. He also now has the Anti-Force, which is an indestructibly powerful blast capable of annihilating entire planets. And in the other corner, we have Martian Manhunter. John Jones is a Martian from Mars. His physiology grants him many powers and abilities, such as superhuman strength and durability, which is on par with Superman and Wonder Woman. He, Clark, and Diana moved the Earth, which means he moved one-third of the Earth by himself. One of the most incredible powers he has is his shape-shifting. He can turn into any person or wildlife, turn into any object, elongate his arms, and turn any limb into any weaponry. Uh, he can turn invisible and intangible. He has superhuman stamina and speed. He has an amazing generation capabilities that acts as a healing factor. Uh, he has regenerated from nothing more than a puddle of green liquid before. He can fly faster than the speed of light. He has enhanced senses. He has a super breath similar to Superman's which he can cool down to freeze his opponents as well. He has his Martian vision. This has seemed to be a bolt of force from his eyes that can cause a lot of damage. He can even use it to see invisible people. And it also grants him telescopic, microscopic, and heat vision. He's one of the most powerful telepaths in the DCU. Not only can he read, read minds at a great distance, but he can also mind control them as well. Above all else, he has telekinesis too, and his only weakness is to fire. So, this would be one hell of a fight that I'd love to see. So, I'd say Thor is slightly stronger than Martian Manhunter, but and vice versa, John is faster than Thor is, as he's kept up with Superman. But Thor has beaten the Silver Surfer, who is faster than Superman, so speed won't be that big of an issue. Also, Thor is a much better fighter, as he has had centuries of fighting training and experience. Martian Manhunter's Martian Vision can hurt Thor, but I don't think it would be a big problem, as Thor can deflect it with Mjolnir, and he's more than durable enough to take it. Now... Martian Manhunter's shape-shifting would give Thor trouble, but whatever Martian Manhunter shifts his body into, Thor can battle it against it on equal fronting with his blows. Now, Thor has Mjolnir, which gives him a ton of versatility, but whatever, uh, but whatever he throws at Martian Manhunter, he's durable enough to take it, not to mention he can turn intangible on a dime in which all of Thor's attacks will just phase right through him. But Mjolnir can actually disrupt intangibility, so that won't work. Now, John is one of the most powerful telepaths in the world, proving to be better than Despero, which is very impressive. Thor is resilient to telepath telepathy, but he's not immune. He's resisted attacks from the Phoenix Force uh, Emma Frost before, so John could win this way, but it'll take some time. All the while, Thor would be attacking him. So both could win this fight, and it would be very close. But if I had to choose one, I'd say Thor eventually wins. There's just nothing going against him in this fight, really. Thor wins. Like and subscribe, all that great stuff.